I'm at Volition RX and it is the quarter one earnings call and the man to talk to me about it is the CEO Cameron Reynolds. Cameron, first of all, let's get straight into the financials. Yes. You've got some new spending money to talk about. Yes, we've str strengthened the balance sheet again this quarter. We have have exercised five million extra in warrants outstanding for cash. So with the warrants outstanding and exercised last quarter, that's just under $11.7 million extra in the last few months that's been raised by the company. So it puts us in an excellent financial position to deliver on the milestones which we have running, especially considering we've actually just slightly downticked on the spend this quarter as well. So we're not only spending slightly less, we're also raising a lot of money. So it puts us in a very healthy position. If you add up what was left with the money we've raised, it's about $21.2 million in the bank. So that's an extremely good runway to achieve the milestones this next few quarters. Was it a bit hand to mouth before that? Were you really hanging on for this money or, or, or could you have done without it? I think we've, we've been uh, raising money all the time, so we've never got to the edge of the cliff, if you will, but it's always good to be moving away, um, not getting closer. So we've raised a lot more money this year than we've spent, which is fantastic. So we're getting stronger and stronger balance sheet all the time. You were in New York and we were there with you for the Capital Markets Day, incredible day on the New York Stock Exchange. You must have been quite happy with the way that went. Any uh, particular feedback from that since then? It was extremely good. I think everyone really appreciated the meeting one-on-one, -on -one, if you will, with the key opinion leaders, with our team, that they could listen to them talk and also ask questions afterwards. Um, we had about 70, 75 people attend, so it was very well attended. And it's great to be at the New York Stock Exchange too, the home of capitalism, and really give the energy to the team. So extremely good feedback. And it was good also just to really outline the, the new things we're doing beyond the core colorectal work. So that went extremely well. I have to say, as a cynical journalist still, I was, I was quite surprised there wasn't some kind of negative or, or negative feedback. I guess with startups, people have to be patient. But the, 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 the interviews that we did were incredibly positive, even with some sort of hard-nosed uh, <laughs> analysts. Yeah, I think people really appreciate the groundwork we're doing. It's been a, we've been going nine years now, but to develop a whole new area of science, to really deliver on something special, something unique, to really add to the human knowledge base it, it is, is a lot of work, but our team has done a fantastic job. Let's move away from the United States to the other side of the globe, to Asia, yes. where you've been doing a lot of work for quite a long time. But the news there is that this relationship with the National Taiwan University is really moving ahead of pace now. We couldn't be happier with the relationship in Taiwan. They're running our very large colorectal trials, which are getting close to halfway through collection now. There are well over 3,000 samples collected, which is fantastic. And in the lung side, that's really gaining momentum now. Uh, we had the MOU signed just a month ago, and now we've signed the, the definitive agreement. So they're, they're collecting very soon, and we expect to have the first samples late this year of about 500 pa cancer patients. So it's really starting to pick up speed. And we think lung is going to be very important to the story over the next 12 months. I was going to say, you know, colorectal we've looked at, we'll talk about veterinary in a moment, but lung cancer seems to be a, a major issue at the moment for you guys. It's a major issue for two ways, absolutely, Nick. Number one, uh, Asia is a very good market to launch in. Uh, we have great partners. We discussed Fosun before, have been very keen to work with us, as well as the Taiwanese. Um, not just that, it's the best single results we've ever had in individual assays has been in lung cancer as well. I mentioned briefly NUQVET. Uh, we know that uh, cancer is a major problem in some animals, particularly dogs. And in New York, we had a down the line interview with uh, one of your new colleagues on this particular front. Tell us a bit more about where we are with it. So after, after the Capital Markets Day last month, I went to Texas A&M to visit the team and I was very, very impressed. Yet again, they're just a really good group to work with, very well financed, very professional and a real passion to make lives better for our four-legged friends. So I think uh, you'll be hearing a lot more about that in the coming months. Uh, we're setting up a subsidiary, Felician Veterinary in Texas, to really focus all of our efforts uh, on the veterinary side with a small dedicated team to launch product as soon as we can. And again, if we're looking at possible negative feedback, one might expect maybe some analysts to say, look, this is a bit of a handbrake turn in the middle of the volition story, is it? I, I can see how people think that. You think, well, dogs are completely different. It, it turns out they're almost exactly the same as us uh, so far as their nucleosomes go. So the actual assays we use for the vet side are almost exactly the same as the human side. So by, by spinning it out into Texas with a great team focused on that in Texas, 
I think we can do a huge amount of uh, good work just with a very small amount of effort. So I, I think we've discussed before, about 95% of our effort is going into the platform itself. And once the platform is developed, we can do lots of different things, including the vet side. So I think it's very important for us and it won't distract us at all from our human work. You, you capture a very interesting area and again interesting in New York. We came across a new character, Axel, who's joined your scientific advisory board. Yes, Professor Imhoff has been a fantastic addition to our, our team and the advisory board. His knowledge in the mass spectrometry space is, is second to none. Uh, he's extremely excited. I guess the interview is on our website now, if you want yes, to have a look is, yeah. uh, with him. Um, he's extremely excited about what we're doing. He can see his life's work coming to fruition with Volition to really make sure that we can add something special with NUQ Capture. By capturing the nucleosomes and analysing a lot of features at the same time, we could add a whole different level of depth to what we're doing. So yet again, it's something we're very excited about. So a lot of momentum. It's looking pretty dynamic at the moment. Uh, let's fuse it all down into the milestones before we finish. You've got assays, you've got veterinary, you've got investment. Yeah, so the balance sheet is now very strong and it's getting stronger as we continue to have these warrants exercised for cash. And we're using that to finish off the platform. A lot more assays are becoming through the process now, um, including the ones which have worked very well once they've been completed. So we're using them on the veterinary side, on the capture side, on the colorectal cancer side. Again, the large trials are still collecting very well. But we forget that uh, sometimes we're still doing all these massive trials in colorectal cancer with such good results we had from the first assays. So add all that together, it's, and you add the layer of the lung cancer on top of the colorectal and the vet, I mean, it's, it's huge. And all of that's being done with a slightly reduced budget this last quarter. So we're, we're doing it very well. We're very happy with how it's going. We think we can really make a massive difference to the way to cancer is diagnosed and in, in dogs as well. And just before we finish, let's have one final news update because it, it is all happening out in Asia at the moment, and particularly with Fosun, as you mentioned earlier in the interview, in China. Just finish off with a bit of news on that front. So yeah, Jasmine, Dr. Kuei has been doing a lot of work in Asia. So we're doing the large trials in colorectal and now lung in Taiwan. Great, uh, great place to do it. Um, extremely good trials, very professional in the Chinese population. Uh, and we're also running three trials in China. They're collecting now for, for the lung. We expect to have a lot of data on those trials throughout the next few quarters, beginning with the Chinese trials. And we're hopeful we're, we're in the process of, of looking how we, we launch in, in, in Asia. So it, it's possible um, we could have some arrangements with groups like Fosun to help us launch products in China particularly. So all that's to happen in the next few quarters and, and something else we're very excited about. It's, it's really all happening. You're going to be a busy guy with all your colleagues from Volition RX. Cameron, thank you very much for filling us in. As Cameron said, you can see most of those subjects, particularly the New York Capital Markets Day, split out on the Volition website and also on YouTube. Thank you very much. Thank you, Nick.